Hey folks, this is Kalani. One game system that has gone through some of the most changes in World of Warcraft is the questing system. We've come a long way from the old days of questing during vanilla where you were limited to kill collect quests for the majority of your playtime. If you weren't collecting something for someone, chances are you were acting as a glorified mailman, taking packages and items from point A to point B, and sometimes those pesky NPCs were so lazy they would ask you to take an item to another NPC just a few steps away. While kill collect quests are still very much our bread and butter when it comes to questing, our options for quests have expanded quite dramatically. This changed how quest achievements have been awarded throughout the expansions, but that annoyingly elusive Lawmaster achievement made you go back and really experience the old zones all over again as you had to hunt for the last few quests to finish up the old area's questing achievements. Well, no more. Lawmaster has undergone quite a drastic change which will make it significantly easier to obtain and hopefully way more fun to actually work towards. Let's have a look under the hood. So if you didn't know how Lawmaster used to work, let's go over that real quick. Each zone in the game has a certain amount of quests that you can complete. A lot of the older zone achievements, which is basically everything before Warlords of Draenor, could only be completed by finishing the vast majority of quests. I think it was usually around the 90% mark, perhaps higher for some zones. That meant if 50 quests were available in the zone you're wanting to get the achievement for, you're going to have to run around and complete 40 to 45 quests and that's just one zone. To get Lawmaster, you would have to complete every Kalimdor, Eastern Kingdoms, Outlands, Northrend, Pandaria, Wallows of Draenor, and now Legion quest achievements to obtain the title of Lawmaster and the shiny tabard that comes along with it. Having to track down each teeny tiny quest chain to work towards your completion was quite a challenge. That's why several add-ons were created to track which quests your characters had done and which you had yet to complete, and then guide you to the appropriate locations so you can pick up the quests you need. Without an add-on or a crazy amount of external research on sites like Wowhead, I dare say you probably wouldn't be able to complete Lawmaster in its old iteration. But things have changed. If you look at the Lawmaster achievement now, you will notice that every zone has a series of story quests in place of the generic quest counter that was there before. This means every zone now works like Warlords and Legion zones. You don't have to track down the silly little escort quests in the corner of the map. Just finish up with the main storylines available in each zone and you'll get your Lawmaster credit. This could be huge in some areas where there are just so many filler quests which don't have anything to do with the overarching story. You probably won't have to complete even half of the quests that you did previously. Honestly, this is a fantastic change for both the achievement and for leveling in general. It always felt a little odd going back Back and leveling some alts through an entire questing zone and not being told you're actually finished. Ever since story quests were introduced in Warlords of Draenor, you got an achievement for completing a storyline and then another achievement for finishing the entire zone story. That was sort of the cue to move on, but it also gave you a sense of accomplishment so you didn't feel like you were leaving something unfinished. At lower levels, that wasn't the case. You could finish a zone and then wonder what next before deciding to move on because you can't find anything else to do. Thankfully, anyone coming to the game after these changes won't have to deal with that. They can show their shiny achievements off for completing the storylines of every zone they work their way through, which will hopefully make them more interested in actually finishing the zones they decide to start questing in. Having the list of story quests showing on your map and quest journal is also a great help. It shows you exactly what you have to do to get the rewards you're after, while providing those very helpful exclamation marks on the minimap just in case you get a little lost. The new quest boards also help with this immensely, giving players options on where they can quest next, while giving them a little snippet of what to expect from the story of that zone. All in all, I think newer players will be drawn more into the story when there's achievements involved, and if they see a huge meta achievement for completing every zone in the game, that might just be the hook they need to really get them reeled into World of Warcraft. It's also a great reason to go through some different leveling zones even if you're not new to the game. I know from some discussions I've seen on Reddit, people are already doing this, creating a leveling path which takes them through specific zones which they haven't got the Lore Master achievements for yet, so they can work on two things at once, leveling up a new character while working towards that shiny title. With the way questing works now, you could set up several different routes and finish up Lore Master just by leveling your alts. It might take a little bit longer without flying, but at least it's another reason to get off your butt and actually level. I keep telling myself the same thing, hopefully I'll listen. My poor, poor warlock. 
But if leveling alts isn't something you're interested in, I would still recommend taking a look at the Lawmaster achievement in its updated state. It's just so easy. Taking all of the new additions from the new questing experience and the rearrangement of the achievements themselves, it kind of completes itself. Fly to a zone, make sure you have track trivial quests on, and look for the nearly greyed out exclamation marks. That'll start you along the path of the story quests for the area. Just keep on questing until the achievements pop up, check the map for more quests, and when you get the zone achievement, you're done. You basically don't even need the Lawmaster add-ons anymore, and the achievement is obtainable with less than half the effort. Sounds like a great deal to me, especially with a cool title on the line. So that's the new Lawmaster achievement and how it changed with all of the leveling updates. Will you go out and finish up all those quests you left behind, or could you still not fit how much you care into a tiny glass jar? Leave all your thoughts in the comments section below. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.